Hey guys, welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, tonight we've got a beer that uh, I think is going to be pretty damn tasty. Uh, this is going to be another beer from Treehouse and um, another variant of Julius. This is going to be Jija Julius. Jija Julius. Um, it's still just a single IPA, 6.8%. This one was canned on April 15th, so not even a month old yet. And uh, yeah, this is the base beer for Julius, um, and I think they just upped the hops. Um, I think the same hop combo. Let's see here. Yeah, so they brewed it for the third anniversary. Additional kettle and dry hopping with the base Julius hop blend, so. I assume everything about this is the same as Julius, just copious amounts of um, hops from that blend. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this one. We just did King Julius. Um, we've done regular Julius. I'm kind of excited about this one and I think what I might do, if you guys can let me know in the comments if it's something you want to see, uh, maybe do like a blind beer type. Um, I don't know what you would call it, but you know, do the basically a battle between Juju Julius and King Julius, and kind of see um, the differences and similarities between them, just kind of blind. So, anyway, let me know if you want to see that. Let's go ahead and get this in the. Oh, hold on. Ah, oh, shit. Dang it, man. I was gonna do the whole pour on camera thing here. That way you can kind of see it as it comes out. It looks like orange juice. Look at that pour, man. That is what you call top notch, brother. Top notch around here, that's all we do. So, with that being said, about three fingers worth of kind of an off-white um, head there. It's very fluffy. Looks like you just, yeah, just that doesn't like washing this, not got done, but in the process of washing this thing. Uh, tight bubbles, and it's uh, soap sudsy, so. Yeah, there you go. And take a look at these bubbles. Some of you will know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. So, oh, let's go ahead and get our nose in this thing. Actually, let's shove our nose in this. <laughs> I feel like I'm all over the place on this video. And this is only the first beer. All right, let's shove our nose in it. Ooh, yeah, that's uh. That's Julius, man. That's Julius, but like beefed up Julius. Dude, this comes across very, um, I don't know if desserty would be the right word. Uh, it's so it smells like a, almost like a creamsicle milkshake type thing. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> That's crazy. Like that orange and vanilla, you know, thing. Kind of like the, the little ice cream that come on the stick, the creamsicle ones. It kind of reminds you of that, but like milkshake form. Like it smells creamy. Uh, if that's a descriptor of an aroma, I don't know, but it smells like it's going to be creamy. But yeah, it's like big juicy orange, uh, tangerine, clementine. Like any type of those like orange variants you can think of, throw all those in a blender and that's what you get. I'm also getting a bit of like a peach, maybe even like a cantaloupe or like a, uh, something like that, almost like a melon of some kind. It smells freaking amazing. Yeah, I'm ready to sip this thing. Let's go ahead and try it. Cheers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's killer. That's killer. I will say it's got a little bit more bitterness than I expected. Maybe a little bit more bitterness than uh, regular Julius. 
but that bitterness comes across in, as like orange peel, um, orange pith. It's just like, I don't know. That's what the bitterness reminds me of. Um, it's not like, I don't know. It's not overly bitter. Um, I don't want to kind of, I don't want to come across that way, but it is a little bit more bitter than I expected. Uh, big time citrus still, uh, same combo, like throw all those oranges in a blender and then that's what you're getting on the, on the taste as well. Uh, along with that, like, uh, appeal, like pithiness. The mouthfeel is just creamy, very, very soft. It definitely comes across as like, I don't, like milkshakey. Like it's very like full mouthfeel. It's very thick and like I said, creamy. I don't know. It works really well. That orange comes across just like a creamsicle. And there's no vanilla in here. There's no lactose that I know of. I guess, I mean, I don't know. They just know what they're doing when it comes to this stuff. So, um, yeah, this thing is a citrus bomb. Um, along with, like I said, the, the nose, I got a little bit more peach and, uh, and like a melon thing. The melon, I feel like comes through a little bit, but the peach is not, it's more on the nose. I do get this nice, like earthy or like, ah, no, I don't want to say earthy. Almost like a, uh, like an oniony, like dank thing in there too. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It's juicy, man. It's juicy. It's ju ju juicy. You know what I mean there? Ju ju Julius. Yeah. All right. Well, I think I've talked enough and said enough weird things in this video that most of you have probably already clicked away by now. Um. So yeah, that's Ginger Julius. Uh, I think it's really fantastic. I think if you like a beer with a lot of orange, uh, you know, a lot of citrus in general, um, a creamy beer, a juicy beer, a dank beer, I think this will be right up your, uh, right in your wheelhouse there. So yeah, I think it's a fantastic beer. As far as a rating for me, it's gonna go like four, four. It's fantastic. I think it's well above average. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and a comment and let me know what you're sipping as well. And if you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. Would definitely appreciate that. You guys have a good evening. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.